Hey y'all, you guys have probably already seen me like in this outfit and hairstyle and everything, but it's okay. I'm filming multiple videos today. Um, I really wanted to get this one done, so um, this one is going to be about going back to school as an adult, as in college. Um, some of you guys may not know, I am 26 years old. I'm going to be 27 in like two months. Um, I finally decided to go back to college after so long, guys. I have been in and out of college for a long time. Um, of course, when I was, this is just some background before I get into my tips and things I've learned about going back and whatever. Um, I graduated high school in 2011, and right after that, I went straight into college like normal people do. Well, I was studying business because my mom and my dad both did business. Um, I realized right away that I did not really like business at all. Um, I did it for a year, you know, went to school for business and it was at my community college too, so if that helps, for a year. At this point, free college was not an option. They did not offer that back when I graduated. Um, but during that year when I was going, I ended up getting a certificate. It's for general office assistant. Um, I know certificates aren't much, but anyway, but since I did it for a year, um, I did not go back, so I got that, it's basically like I graduated in like 2012. I went back to college in spring of 2013, and I took, I think, like two classes just to see what I wanted to do. I wasn't sure. Well, instead of going back that summer or that fall, that summer in 2013, I took a CNA course. It was like, I think, three weeks long, and I got my CNA. I still have it currently. I have had it for going on seven years. I love it. Um, but after my CNA, I, haven't, I didn't go back to school. I got a job. Um, still am, am at that job. Um, I love it, and I'm not saying I don't love it anymore. But I know I will not be able to do that kind of job for the rest of my life. And that really does kind of hurt me, but it's life. Um, plus, I want to expand my knowledge in the medical field. So I decided to go back in 2019, because it's now 2020. But I went back in fall of 2019. My current major is medical office administration. and. I am having to be a part-time student because I, I work a full-time job, 40 plus hours a week, so I can only be a part-time student in order to have a job, work, or yeah, have a job, pay for all the stuff I gotta pay for, take care of my house, take care of my dogs, spend time with my husband, and go to school. So I know it's gonna take me a long time, and I'm at my community college again. It's going to take me a long, long time, but I'm going to get there eventually because I'm going to do two different majors. Um, but yeah, um, sorry, I'm just going to go ahead and say this, that sorry this video is all over the place, but I'm just trying to get all this information in. Well, come this May, so like, you know, the end of the school year, May of 2020, I'll have my medical office certificate. And then I just gotta take a few more classes, and I'm gonna be taking classes in summer, fall and spring. That's how I'm gonna do it, since I'm gonna be a part-time student. Um, I'm just gonna take classes basically all year round. Um, excuse me, but I'm gonna do that. I get my degree in medical office administration, and then I am going to work on getting and becoming a medical assistant. So I could do front and back office work, that way I can still have hands on with people. And you no, know, like I wanna know like the like I guess you could say like the business side of medical field since I already know kind of like the you know, one side of taking care of people, but I also wanna expand my knowledge of taking care of people as far as like that. So with medical assisting I'll be able to do like with phlebotomy and stuff, which I think is cool. And I won't just have to you know, do like CNA type work forever, which I don't mind it. I still love it. I'll probably still continue to do it like PRN or something whenever the time comes, but that won't be like anytime soon, 
but yeah, um, I got some tips and stuff written down and stuff that I've noticed. It's just, it, to me, going back now that I am an adult, to me, it's a lot better because I know what I want to do. Like, I have a goal and I'm going to succeed in it. When you're 18, you don't know. So, I mean, some do, but sometimes you end up changing, life happens, you know. But I just have like these little notes and stuff. My first one is, is you're more determined and focused, basically, because um, I know what I want to do. Like, I know it's going to take me a while, but I'm determined to do it. I'm going to get these degrees, basically. Um, it's important to me that I do, and it's not for anybody but for myself. Um, I want, I know that it's, it's a challenge, but I want to prove to myself that I can do this. Um, I am more likely to study now than I was back then. I can't tell you how much I've studied, especially like my last semester. I studied and studied. I tried to get good grades. You know, like I'm just, I want that. Like I know it's how important it is to get good grades and stuff. Um, there has been some struggles though, like when going. Now, I don't know if every, if this is everywhere but in my state, they have it to where they want adults to be able to go back to school, which I don't really qualify for anything since I've already been a few times, but you know, plus I've like, I've graduated, so it doesn't count. But anyways, um, I work third shifts and my third shift is like 12 a.m. to 8 a.m. So like literally it's like midnight. Um, so I have to, I can kind of schedule around that, like I can go to school after I get off work or I can go home, take a nap, and then go to school, you know, stuff like that. Um, scheduling classes, it's kind of difficult though because I have to sleep sometime, <laughs> you know, and it's just going to take me longer because I'm not a full-time student and I had people tell me, like, like, not necessarily like advisors, but like, people at the college they tell me that I'm not going to graduate or that people don't want to help me because I am just a part-time student and I'm like y'all don't understand and I try to explain to them that you know I work a full-time job I'm 26 almost 27 years old I own a house you know I have responsibilities I'm not just some 18 year old living with my parents who is paying for my stuff I'm doing all of this on my own I'm paying for my books I'm paying for the tuition like I just want help when I need it, you know? Um, and they just don't seem to care, but I'm going to graduate with my degrees. I'm going to, it's gonna take me, like I said, a while, but I'm going to, and I'm going to prove all these people wrong. Um, I've been out in the real world, obviously, so I know how important education is. Like, if you wanna move up in places, sometimes you gotta have education. Um, it's just how it is in life. And I'm just glad that I get this opportunity and that my husband supports me and is letting me, well, I'm not saying like letting me, but like helping me, telling me, you know, it's okay and like we're budgeting better so I can. Um, because, and I'm, I'm, I know what makes me happy now. Like I'm finding what makes me happy because of the real world, because of my experiences in life. I, I know what I want to do, you know? So I've had six, almost seven years experience in the medical field and I love it. And I mean, I don't know what else to say about that, you know, but and it's not always about the pay and salary. Like with me being a CNA, I get, I'm like at the bottom of the totem pole. I get paid like the least amount, right? Well, at medical assisting, you don't get paid much more as you would. Like if you're like in nursing or something, you don't get paid much more than a CNA, but to me, it's not about the money at all. Like, I want to do something that makes me happy, and I think moving up from being a CNA to a medical assistant, or in my case, medical office administration at the moment, it's better. Like, it plus it's like different environment. Like, I, since I've been doing this for so long, like I'm so used to something, and I think like a new environment, you know, sometimes you can prevent burnout and stuff, you know. Um, community colleges aren't that bad, I mean, I know some people are against them and they want to go to like a four-year Ivy League type of thing. Well, not everyone can afford that. Um, 
I mean, my community college isn't that bad. It's just certain people, you know, they want to say stuff, and some don't want to help you, but some do. It just all depends on who you talk to. Um, but with me working my full-time job and going to school, I have less time spent with my family, my friends, like, whoever, my animals, you know? Like, I get less time with them because I have to study. I have to sleep sometimes. I have homework, like... I mean, that's just sacrifices that I'm willing to make, and I hope that they understand, you know, like, I don't already see a lot of them as is because of my work schedule, plus I work crazy hours and overtime a lot, like, I don't. Sometimes I don't even see my husband that much because he works and I work, and yeah. But overall, you gotta have time management, you gotta prioritize, get you a planner, okay? I have a planner, I also have a big calendar in my kitchen, like I write stuff down all the time. I have stuff prioritized for appointments and like homework and stuff and I have, get you a good laptop too because you will be taking that to school because I didn't think I would be but I have taken my laptop plenty of times and it has saved me in the long run by taking it. Um, I have to take time out to study so you don't get to see loved ones or something like that. Um, but I mean, overall, it's not that bad, and I'm doing this, I'm going to, I am determined. <laughs> I am more focused and more determined now than I ever have been when I was younger. Um, I really think me waiting and experiencing life, as you want to say, like experiencing life, and been doing what I've been doing for so long, I'm more determined now more than ever to move it on up. And just because you want to move up in something doesn't mean you don't love what you currently do or if you decide to change careers. It may not be because you just don't love it, like you may just need to change, and that is okay. Life is all about changing, like you change as a person, you can change your career, you know, life happens, you can move, you can go somewhere else, like you can meet new people, it's okay. But I just wanted to make like little notes and stuff about that. Um, I don't know if this is very helpful, or informational for you but I just want to get this out there um but yeah I will keep you updated on that so I'm going into my second semester of going back to college after six years yeah which is crazy it's been a struggle with that getting used to it like I am so nervous and, like I know it's, I'm not taking as many classes as some people but it's still nerve-wracking and trying to figure out stuff it's, it's a lot but I have the support from my husband and stuff so that makes it even better sometimes like if I may have a meltdown or a bad day he's there to help me or, and remind me that like this is what I want to do and it's okay that I do and just because I want to do it doesn't mean I don't love what I do currently because I do but <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys later bye